Welcome back. Let's move to Class 6. A Temple and Midway, the only teams that remain unbeaten in district play. Those teams don't meet until November 2nd. That's week 10. But until then, the Panthers had to get past Coppers Cove, a team which just dropped 68 on Waco High a week ago. That's right. Something had to give tonight at Panther Stadium. Opening drive. Look at the packed house. You know who's out there? The YouTube stars. Uh, I can't remember their names. My daughter took a picture with them. She was happy. <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn and, Braley. and Braley. That's it. Opening drive. Nick Jimenez finds Will Nixon for the big first down. It helps set up this. A few plays later, James Fulbright did a story over here like four or five years ago. Said he was going to be a stud. That's exactly what he is. Drags a defender with him in the end zone. Panthers lead 7-0. Coppers Cope trying to answer, but Easton Simpson. He is going to be picked off by Xavier Abonos. Panthers football. They led 28-7 at the half, late fourth quarter, leading 49-21. Could Shoemaker snap a 26-game losing streak? Gray Wolves battling Ellison on the Eagles homecoming night tonight at Leo Buckley. Eagles receiving the opening kickoff. Ty Hill out to the 15, the 20, the 25, bounces to the outside and ends up with a gain of 30 on the kick return special teams man they, they do win special championships, things man breezy on spiller the ellison quarterback he is exciting and a few plays later deep back to pass fires for greg cook for the first touchdown of the night the eagles go for two spiller to hill he's in it's eight nothing ellison going to the big board 24 13 the last score we had in the third let's head out to waco irc stadium waco high in search of its first district win taking the harker heights homecoming royalty right there pick it up second quarter lines leading 10-9 with over a minute left that's Contavion Johnson for the Knights gets in the handoff and for the touchdown, 16-10 Harker Heights. Later, Waco High would try to respond, but Randy Carpenter stopped cold-blooded right here. Well, he did get stopped after a big old game. Let's go to the big board because this game was pretty good until late. Harker Heights, late fourth quarter, 36-17. How about a little Thursday night action for your Friday? Temple brought their 5-0 record to Leo Buckley last night against Killeen. And the Roos looking to extend a three-game win streak. Temple looking for its first 6-0 start since their state title in 92. Wildcats on the board first after a block field goal. Jared Wiley hits Montavian Carlisle, and he does the rest. Breaking tackles, bouncing off defenders. He's in the end zone. It's 7-0 Cats. They make it 14-0 later in the first. Wiley back to Isaiah Robledo, who's wide open for the touchdown in the second. Wiley finds Carlisle again. He beats his man into the end zone. Go to the big board, because this one, 35-13 Temple. They're undefeated at 6-0. 0 and 5 at University on the road, taking on Arlington Seguin. And how about those Trojans? Wow! 34 14. They might win their third game of the year. That is going to be an awesome that win. That is impressive right there. Hey, do not go anywhere. We got more Friday Night Lights coming up after the break.